Hello again there everybody. Welcome to the 11th Minecraft Techie tutorial. And in this tutorial I am going to continue with our equivalent exchange. Now the only equivalent exchange we have made is the transmutation tablet. And there are a lot of other more advanced stuff in the equivalent exchange mod pack. So let's get started with that. So the first thing we're going to make is an alchemical chest. No, this is the alchemical chest. We're going to make an energy condenser. So the energy condenser can turn... It's pretty much like the transportation tablets. can turn items into each other. Just that it is a slightly different version. I will show you now. Okay, so you need an alchemical chest, which I have already showed you how to make in my last tutorial, right here. And you need four obsidian and four diamonds. So it's like this, and that makes you a energy condenser. Okay, it looks pretty much like like the chest, the alchemical chest, and that this is different. Now the way this works is that if you place it down, you can see here, it has a kind of targeted item up here, and it has a huge chest. So the way this works is you can put something in the left corner, and you can put something in the chest, and it will turn everything in the chest into that item. Now this is based on EMC values, so you can't turn one. I mean, you need loads of cobblestone to make that one tin. Okay. So the reason this can be useful is like if we have a QR with all the crap coming in like this, then we could just place down our energy condenser, and then we wouldn't need to worry about that anymore. Okay. So that's why we're going to do this. So let's take out the stuff. And let's pick up our energy condenser. Just gonna recharge that. Okay. Oh shoot, made a hole in the wall. Okay, so we have our energy condenser here. And we put it up right there. Okay, so now what I like to do is to put a diamond in the left corner and it will turn everything into diamonds. Just like that. Now, the pretty much only difference between the, the transportation tablet and the energy condenser, if you don't consider the like the, the interface and the way it turns everything into that one because you can do the exact same thing that you do here in the transmutation tablet but one difference is that I can put in for example coal so that will not work in the transmutation tablet as you can see because it's locked on matter now, I don't know what I don't know why this is made by the guy who made the that's exchange, but that's how the way it works. So if I put in coal here, you see it locks on fuel, which are other types of items like glowstone, coal, charcoal, redstone, gunpowder, and nickel, like all that. So, but that won't do any difference here. Here, the flower doesn't. Work. Here, everything will be turned into a diamond. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to show you is the divining rod. Now for the divining rod is a device that allows you to scan different areas in the ground for minerals. Okay, so it will tell you what EMC value the items you have below you are worth. Okay, so I will show you this so you can understand. You need some diamonds, some coal, and what else? Copperstone. 
and flower. Okay, I'm just trying to get some 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 cobbles on there. Cobblestone, there we go. And some coal. I mean charcoal. Okay, because we need all the different types of covalence dust to make the divine world. Okay. So we make the three type three types of covalence dust. The lowest one and the next one and the best one. Okay, I am not going through this in detail because I already made this in another tutorial. The link tutorial is right here if you want to go and check that out. Okay, so we need the death ones. We also need a stick. Now what you do is you put a stick in the middle and you start with the lowest covalence dust and surround it and it makes a divining rod. Now this works okay but I, I'm just upgrading upgrading it to the best one right now. Because this one can scan smaller and this can scan even larger and this one can scan the largest. So I usually don't make this so early in the game. So that's why I haven't made it yet. Okay so the divining rod is used to scan the ground as I said. If I right click here you can see it says divining suggests a value around one which is the the like in general like in some yeah but it says best found is the is the kind of the highest EMC value item. Now in a iron ore if there is one iron ore the best found will say two hundred and fifty six because that's what an iron is worth in transportation tablets in EMC. And if it says five hundred and twelve the best you can, f the best is gold. Just so you know, this doesn't scan until bedrock. It scans, I don't know, 30 to 64. I don't know how much down it scans. I guess it's not that much because there would be something below it. And I think coal is like 82, and diamond is like 8,000 something. Okay, so let's just find a little cave to demonstrate this for you. Or actually we need a cave and go down here in the carry. Ouch. There's lava here. Okay. So here we got some tin. You can see best found 256. Now the 29 here means that it's some kind of general Thing. I mean, the higher the more stuff you can find below here. The copper is 85, gold is 2, oh, gold is 2000. I don't know if the emerald actually shows up. The iron is 256, and some, uh, something else you should know it scans in a 3x3 three three area. So if you right click on this, this block right here, it will scan all inside here behind behind here that way okay that's something you should remember and yeah that is pretty much the divining rod it is very handy to use it when you go down mining yeah so you can also change the rate the, the like kind of the what kind of grade you want it to search oh yeah here you can see it can search long range 64 down watch that's a lot best found 16,000 watch that must be a tungsten okay, best found 256 best found so watch this is awesome I didn't think about that when you have this long range you can kind of you can see down here, inside these three right here, there will be a tungsten. Okay, so to mine this out, it will not be convenient to do it like this in the middle because you won't see the corner pieces. So to do that, 
we are going to make something called a destruction catalyst. Okay. So I think I know how to make that without checking the recipe. So let's try. First, we will need some TNT. Okay. It's also a part of the. It's called the equivalent exchange mod pack. Okay. So I'll just get some sand. Let's make our TNT first. Let's get that. Here we go. I, I'm just going to make one. So we can just put it in here. Let's drop in some covalence dust. Make a bunch of TNT. Okay, and we will also need something called. Now, this is a pretty important thing in equivalent exchange. It's the different types of fuels. Now, to make that, you will need your Philosopher's Stone. And you put the Philosopher's Stone in the crafting table with four coal. And it will make a, an alchemical coal. Sorry, and get yeah, alchemical coal when you get four of that one. Okay, so let's take that those four oh. like that. You can make the one that's better, which is the Mobius fuel. Okay, so I'm just going to put the, this in the transportation tablet. Okay, so we put in these four and it makes Mobius fuel. Let's put Mobius fuel in our transmutation tablet and drop in some coal. Okay, so we have four Mobius fuel that will be. Put in there. Okay, some more here. The way we make our destruction catalyst is by putting TNT and Mobius fuel in the crafting table. That makes something called a Nova Catalyst. Now I'm gonna make a few extra of those because they are pretty fun. We just need four for the crafting recipe and we also need flint and steel. So let's take that. Flint, okay. Flint and steel or flint and iron. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little more correct. Okay, so we put in our flint and steel, Mobius fuel, and our Nova Catalyst. That should make our Destruction Catalyst. Now this thing right here is awesome. It is absolutely amazing. I will show you this. Just gonna store something in, some things in here. Temporarily. Okay, so... Mobius fuel, let me bring some stuff. Okay. So let's sleep and we will go mining. Okay guys, so I just scanned this right here. And as you can see, the best found was a diamond. The second was a gold, I think. No, the second is an iron and the third one must be something else which I don't know okay so at least I'm going to dig down here and the way the Nova Catalyst works no, the Destruction Catalyst is you right click it and it digs out, by default it digs out a 3x3 three three area downwards okay like that and I don't, I'm not sure how it does, it does use some kind of fuel yeah you can see our glowstone there 7, 6 7 hmm. just went down for me 6 you see so it will go down but you can also recharge the destruction catalyst and then it can go even further okay so we have our jetpack, so let's do that. If we, oh my god, you see that? So we just 
mine out a huge area down here. Okay, so that is pretty effective mining. No, oh Christ. <laughs> okay, I died. That's the bad thing about the jetpack. Just gonna get some rubber boots so we can survive. Maybe we can even survive that fall. Let's put on the rubber boots. We survived. That's some logical error, if you ask me. Okay, so let's see, we haven't gotten any good stuff yet. Which means, if we scan our ground, We should have good stuff. Whoa! Hey! So much cheating me! It was saying a lot more. It's wrong. So maybe it's better one of these ways. Okay, so let's just mine out. Okay, let's do that one more time. Oh yeah, we got some good stuff here. One more. And we got bedrock. As you can see, we also have used up our glowstone that we had in our inventory. So if we... Let's try it. Yeah. So this is really effective mining. It's crazy. I'm not sure. I think it just used up my redstone that I had in my bag. Pretty sure about that. Okay, so I don't know how to kind of discharge it, but oh yeah. Okay, so that is the divining rod, the destruction catalyst. Oh, and I forgot to show you the the nova catalyst. We have to do it because that's so cool. Now the Nova Catalyst is a mining TNT. The way you use it is you just place it down. Let's see if I can land it. Okay, so we place it down and it, it's a TNT. It will blow up a pretty huge area but it won't hurt us. So I'm pretty sure I can just... No, I can't. Need a lever. We'll just cheat. I'm pretty sure it's a lever we need. I only cheat when it's a video, and I'm just going to show some. That's the only time I cheat. Okay, so let's put that down with the lever, and as you can see, it will blow up. And the good thing is that you see that the stuff will actually come to us. So you won't need to see it and none, nothing of the stuff will actually get destroyed. It will collect all the stuff and drop it right on our side. So I need to throw out some cobblestone here. Because we didn't get anything good else. Okay, yeah. It's a bad blow up, but at least thanks for watching. And if you are liking these tutorials, please let me know and subscribe to my channel so you can know when I get new videos. And if you appreciated this video, please click the like button below. And I will see you next time. Bye.